Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We got a beautiful day ahead of us. Uh, by the way, thank you and welcome to you new users. Welcome back to the channel. Now today we are going to be doing two things. We're going to be installing my rain guards, which I will be talking about in just a second. And we're also going to be talking about the tail light tint that I got. It's quite different. I saw it. I was like, hmm, it may look pretty good. I don't know. It's got like a honeycomb design. I don't know. If it doesn't work out, I'll just you know, scrap it or whatever. But it could be the new thing. It could be the new thing. But anyways, let's talk about the car. I took out the car yesterday to work. The freaking Apple weather. Never trust the Apple weather, man. It said it wasn't going to rain. Clearly, it rained and hell let it down on me. But anyways, I took it to work because it's a Friday and I wanted to take my beautiful car. Uh, but uh, uh, I don't have any vents, any rain guards yet so they were kind of loose and you know the air intake is right here and if it sucks some waddy waddy sucky sucky it goes in here and it goes in there and well yeah it could be game over right anyways the camera's doing this color justice right now let me get in real close so you guys can see the, the water spots there Let's look at this there's water drops all over my car and i want to wash it right now i don't want it to leave stains it is ceramic coated but that's why I have so many water spots because of the ceramico and they just all stayed in the car. Look at the back end of my car. It's got like leopard spots. So this car is extremely dirty. You guys can see it right there. Everything's so dirty. We're going to pull it out and wash it. And I do notice right here on the tail lights, it's better than before. Not the whole thing's fogged up, but right there we do see a little fog spot. So I might have to actually end up pulling them out again and see if I can seal this whole tail light again to see where it's coming from. But this one seems okay. Not no big issue, but yeah. Let's go ahead and pull it out and wash it. Many of you have asked me where you guys can get rain guards like this. I'm not completely sure where you can get them. These rain guards actually came when I purchased the hood. So they came on the hood and I had to take them off. But uh, yeah, I'm not really sure how much they cost or where you can actually get them. But we're going to go ahead and install them. I'm not sure how the mechanic works of how this directs the water and all that. But it should direct the water outward. We're going to check it out, see how it works. Hello. Oh. But uh, for now, we got to tape up those holes because I need to wash the car before we head out. I know it's going to rain tomorrow, I know, but I'm leaving the car inside, so it's not like I'm going to wash it for nothing. Relax, fuckers, all right? Just put a little bit of tape there. Also, let's test where the hell this water goes. I have a little bit of water here. It goes down here. Let's see where it went. Drop some water. Let's see. Did it just get trapped in there or... That's a little concerning. What do I felt right here? Okay, so it falls through there. Makes sense. You know, it could fall through here because I made a fat ass hole because I needed to put the hood pins and shit like that. According to my statistics, 100% efficient or like 100% uh, effective. So let's go ahead and wash the car. And now we ain't got to put no towels or anything under the damn hood because now we could just wash it. So uh, let's go ahead and wash the car and uh, make this brand new again. One, three, three. All right, sweet. Let's go ahead and start this bitch up. Nice, peaceful day. <laughs> Does anybody know why the headlights look like rainbows on camera? They don't look like that in person, but... The car is now beautiful. It's clean. Oh, what the hell? I literally just watched it, bro. Why is it wet? My God, again, more, bro, this car is crying. Oh my God, oh my God, oh shit, what the fuck? Hey guys, welcome back to another day. Today, we are going to be removing the tail lights. As you can see, it's raining. I just washed my car yesterday, so I do not want to take it out, but <sighs> how is there water, bro? How is there water? Fun fact, before this, I actually bought window tint 20% and installed this. I don't know why I got window tint, but it was super, super dark. So we, I had to order actual tail light tint. But these look awesome. Let's go ahead and install them on the car, see how they look. See if they change the look of the car. I don't think you're gonna see the hexagons at all, 
Maybe when the LEDs are on, let's check them out. And why I got a rain. <laughs> I complained about rain and it's like literally like the second day of rain throughout the whole year of 2020. We had nothing but heat and fires this whole year. Uh, it's about time we get some rain. So a super cool thing about these tail lights right now is that since we painted the housing black, the tint makes it double as black. And the only thing that stands out are the actual halos, right? Because they're white. Uh, you know, otherwise, other things that would stand out would be like the chrome, like this. And like the side, look, that's chrome. You know how it stands out, but look at the black housing. It gets even darker, and that's what the light. <laughs> Without the light, good luck. Oh, crap, it's raining. Okay. guys i just finished installing them this is what they look like right now with no lights on i must say they do look a lot better man i like them dim like that you can't even see the white circle no more that's pretty sick maybe right now because uh you know there's no sun obviously but it does look good let me let's go ahead and turn on the lights let's see Uh, you can't see that. I think I have to turn on the car. Hold up. Imagine if they didn't freaking, you couldn't see the light. I would have been screwed, bro. Still nothing, huh? I'm so dumb. Okay. I was starting to get nervous. I was like, bro, why can't I see them? Are they really that dark? But... <laughs> Yikes, bro. I'm so dumb sometimes. I gotta plug it in for it to work, right? Hold up, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm not, I'm just not in it today. Oh my god. Here, okay, that's plugged in. There you go. Now it's plugged in. Now it should work. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, guys. All right, let's do a redo on that. Redo. All right, here we go. Let's check it out now. Okay, there you go. Ooh, you can see the heck. Can you see the hexagon from there? You probably can't, huh? Can you see them up close, though? Oh, now you can. Honestly, I kind of dig it, bro. The little hexagon. That's pretty sick right there. Yo. <laughs> Look at that. That's how they, they are still. And then that's the... And they get brighter. But they look good, dude. Yo. Like, you can't even... You can't even tell about the hexagons, like, from far away. So that's why they look good. But up close, it's the detail that matters, bro. Honeycomb. Y'all gotta stay dedicated to the honeycomb. Man. Approved. Definitely approved. That is badass right there. You could only see the halos now. You Before, you used to see a lot of red around it, you know, because, you know, the tail light itself is red. But now everything is pitch black, except the halos. That is wonderful. That's pretty sick. So this is, when whenever I'm off camera, I, I think a lot about, like, the future steps about the car, right? So there's a lot of things that I think about. And so I was thinking, right, I really want to supercharge this G35, and I am, right? It's not like a question of if, it's like, it's just a when, right? I am going to supercharge it. But I was thinking about saving some money and tr try not to go bolt on, just go straight to, uh, to a boosted application, right? But I am going to still need a lot of bolt-ons to get to that boosting, right? Um, for example, I need to get some R pipes, which I'm currently looking for right now. So if you guys have R pipes, motor dyne R pipes, let me know. I need to get myself a pair. But anyways, I need those R pipes. I also probably need a bigger manifold. So either a plenum spacer or the uh, kinetics uh, plenum with the spacer already included. So with that being said, I might start purchasing a little bit here and there. Uh, I just thought that maybe it would be pretty cool to just buy everything at once. Like I said, I am writing a letter to Vortex. See if I can get a sponsorship uh, of some sort, partial sponsorship, anything would help. And, uh, and see if they can include some of those things inside of that package, right? Such things like injector, fuel pumps, management systems, all that stuff. Uh, that's why I, I try to avoid it. And I also don't want to spend money, say like on an intake, because the only intake I would put on my car would probably be the admin three inch intake that I already bought previously, but now I sold with the golden G35. It's long gone now. Uh, long story with that, I should have kept it. It would have been way easier. 
and he, dude it's a long story drama with that card i don't even want to get into it but i don't want to purchase it again and then when i freaking buy a supercharger have to sell that you know and then just bought it pretty much for nothing right um, but i don't know maybe i can sell it and get my money's worth just for now or maybe lose 50 bucks on it either way right um but but yeah if i would go boltons i definitely put that three inch admin intake on there you know switch the injectors put a fuel pump and then go e85 on this with the r pipes and then i would call it a day right until the supercharger of course so i don't know right now guys i'm just doing a lot of thinking right now i'm just trying to figure out what's the best path um to kind of save myself the most money um, because I'm really uh, I'm trying to be more smart with the things I purchase and not just kind of throw them away when I had the golden G I was just cashing out and I didn't really care for example I bought the tune for the golden G 35 only had the tune for literally one or two months and that's it I sold it the ECU is gone $700 down the drain and like I don't know I probably should have swapped the ECU like it's just a bunch of things right that I just did really dumb and and I didn't pay attention to but with that being said this time around I want to be a lot more smart about it and kind of do things right the first time instead of you know just cashing out money and letting it don't go down the drain I technically can supercharge and do all that right now like I have the money for it but it wouldn't be financially smart like you guys know cashing out and just freaking it's a huge chunk of money guys and uh i don't know i just don't feel comfortable right now to make that purchase i definitely want to save up a little bit more to the point where i feel a little bit more secure and save financially to to make a purchase into this car i know it's an investment into into my channel and it's gonna make the car a beast and everything but i still gotta play it safe you know guys so thank you guys for supporting the channel he has gotten me here so far look at that man it's a beauty within itself just how it is right now and we're gonna try to build this step by step you know we're gonna start with the r pipes and see if we can maybe get the plenum spacer or a new manifold and start somewhere around there so with that being said thank you guys for supporting the channel i'll catch you guys next video i'm gonna partner up again with the genesis make another cool video for you guys hopefully you guys enjoy that and i know some of you guys have been asking for the rating card let me know if you guys want to see that again uh, maybe I'll pull out an episode somewhere stay safe out there be safe make sure to give this video a thumbs up comment down below and I'll catch you guys next video peace out guys